I mean, y'all remember me in high school. I was having that shit. Damn near shaved. Yeah, I knew yeah, it. yeah. Uh, if I can do this and get through high school without being completely roasted and humili humiliated with short hair, then. Humiliated. Then I might be on to some. Yeah, for real. I'm trying to get humiliated. <laughs> for real. <laughs> I wish I did that. I guess technically we are recording. Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of the Informal Honest Podcast. We love to we love to have y'all and we appreciate you. Uh uh just in case Adam kept this cold open on, uh you might have heard Aaron uh turn into, you know, um, how should I say, uh DJ interlude. And uh <laughs> if uh if that gets annoying for you, we apologize. But it's because brother Aaron is safe, which matters more. Uh, than your listening experience. And so um, uh, Aaron is living in Nashville, but currently uh, he's in a safe area because he was able to avoid Hurricane Helene uh, because he was on his honeymoon clapping his wife's cheeks like he never, like like a newly married man. So the and sun so, came uh, up and then when the sun went down. <laughs> you know what I mean? What, got, <laughs> what comes around goes around. You know what I mean? I had a storm. That's, that's what there, I kept telling there, her. You keep throwing there. it back, and I'm like, you know. <laughs> there, there's, a, there's a moon reference in there somehow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what goes around comes around. But yo, yeah. bro, uh, you were telling you were telling me before we got on, you know, <laughs> that you were able to go back home, see what some of the damage was. Luckily, you live on the down slope, so you were able to. You know, avoid some of the major damages and some of the same damage. But what have what have you seen? What have you experienced so far? As far as what you were blessedly able to avoid with mm -hmm. Hurricane Helene out uh, out in Nashville? Yeah. So uh, there's pretty much, and you know, maybe some roads are opening up now again. But there's one main road that you can take in and out for the most part. Uh, and this was as early as like three days after, which is uh, pretty incredible because a lot of the highways got demolished essentially mm -hmm. um not just water but like the actual portions of highway is gone you know it's crazy to think about even crazier to see um but yeah we were able to kind of go back and thank god thank the universe um that once yeah like josh said we were on the slope we literally live in the south slope district so our building, like water always finds the lowest point. So our building was not damaged at all. We had the, we had the typical no uh, <clears throat> no water, no power, shit like that, no internet. But so several things. One main thing, and I, I'm highlighting this because it was, it was a thing that I think helped keep a lot of people going outside of the obvious necessities is so a lot. Even in my building alone, yo, where people in the elevator on a, on a regular day wouldn't really talk to each other. It's like mm -hmm. hi and bye, and you might not, I might smile and say hi to somebody in the elevator, and they don't even respond. So to think about that on a smaller scale, just from that, when this shit hit, to see so many people coming together in the community room and like offering their own foods and and uh, water to one another, I mean, it, it was it was wild to see, bro. That. But that's some type of shit that'll bring tear to your eye for real when you drive 10 minutes away and uh, it's a fucking war zone. You know, mm -hmm. the water is pretty much receded now, but parks are gone. Um, like actual concrete, like the cement and stuff is gone. It's just dirt trees. Are, it, some of the parks look like a dirt field sure. essentially now. Certain towns are people's, you know, houses washed away in the flood, slid off the mountain. Um, obviously the places they got it worse were the ones that were right, pretty much had late, uh, uh, riverfront views mm -hmm. that obviously makes the most sense. Um, so blessing to them. I actually drove, I drove down one of those main roads. It's called the river in the river arts district, um, uh, which is one of the reasons why I would even go to Asheville before we lived here. Cause it's just such a cool creative place to be, man. Um, so rest in peace to some, to whoever lost their lives, but also um, folks keep sending aid because some of those people actually lived in their gallery and their whole livelihood is gone. Their home is gone. 
you know? Um, yeah. But seeing the city come together is, if that don't keep give you some sense of hope, man, then I don't know what will. Seeing the people themselves come together, many of them who have none, who also lost stuff, being able to come together and give any little thing to the next person is, is uh is big man because folks going through it yo for real yeah. and uh you were saying you were saying as well and touching on the right there. hopeful uh for 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 people's you know like uh um, care for one another we we saw these little things you know like in the midst of covid people realize you know connection that's connection is necessary uh but in these times of like hardships or natural disasters that people really will come together in spite of whatever their like political affiliations are or biases or prejudices people will show up for their neighbor and their countrymen and all of that other kind of stuff uh, because that's been a thing that i haven't particularly cared for in regards to seeing this thing um that happens every fucking time where natural disasters get politicized and we and we we see it every time we saw it in Katrina. We we're seeing it in this situation where uh, 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 it's it's become a talking point for people being like, you know, uh, why is uh, Kamala out here still on the campaign trail? Why is she doing more to help out with Helene? And, you know, that's not her fucking job. So it's something she can do about that. I don't I don't particularly get that thing of like turning it into that thing or FEMA not getting the proper uh, uh allegedly FEMA FEMA not getting proper uh funding the way it's supposed to get emergency relief funds or, or new budgets when these kind of things happen because they're claiming that we're gonna wait for the new election what the election cycle to be over in order to do any of that. Or the uh what's his name, Mike Johnson, Republican state leader, being like, Well, Congress is on recess, so we ain't calling the niggas when they on vacation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know they're gonna make every everything, even like tragedies and stuff, become parts of uh of the campaign. You know how can we how can we uh basically capitalize off of whatever is going on and flip this into something positive for our campaign? Like, and I don't yeah, bro. get that. Like, and it's just so be like helpful. it's. It's such low hanging fruit, but it's also like by now, I would be surprised if they didn't try to leech on the, you know what I mean, or like latch on to whatever agenda or, or whatever event that suit whatever side of the whatever perspective of the event mm-hmm. at hand that suits their agenda. Yeah. It's uh, it's super unfortunate, but I'm glad I'm able to like on the ground see a very Witness. different thing. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like folks coming great. together. And shout out to World Central Kitchen, man. They mm. came in quick. They've been, they get there at 6, 7 a.m. And they cook food and give away free, fresh cooked food until they run out every single day. That's great. As soon as they could get there. Because motherfucker, I mean, yo, it's uh, it's it's people bringing even something like porta potties and stand up showers. Right. So people can like keep going to work and have a place to shower. Like the YMCA open up the lines is mad fucking long, but I'm the sure. YMCA opening up to give people free showers, little shit like that. Motherfuckers really start appreciating water. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, of course, internet, we all love internet and phones and all that shit. But like when you <laughs> run out of water, man, it's a different story. Yeah. If I, if I yeah. got to choose between washing my ass and Wi Fi, I'm I'm definitely gonna choose washing my ass <laughs> for sure. <laughs> and even grocery stores like opening up again, like it's crazy because you need people there to buy your shit to keep the groceries coming, to keep the distributors. You know what I mean? You need right. supply and demand. And the first they were like cash only, and now the ATMs is coming back. So slowly but surely, things are coming back. It's just. Is it as convenient as it was? Obviously not, but this is what not. we got to deal with temporarily yeah. until the whatever is the new normal becomes the new normal. Now, something I really want to highlight because I've been watching um, like the Buncombe County is the county we live in. Okay. And I just want to shout out the guys on the ground repairing the roads and the pipes so we can get water back in Asheville. These motherfuckers right. are working incredibly hard. 
And in a matter of days, the amount of work that they've been able to accomplish is to me. Now, mind you, I am someone who I'm not some contractor who's been in this field and knows what the fuck I'm doing. Just visually as an outsider, it seems nothing short of miraculous. The fact yeah, that, that they are busting their time. ass. So they had to finish tearing, destroying the road and parts of the bridges so they can rebuild the right way mm-hmm. and like just the right infrastructure. And they're putting an elbow yeah. on this pipe. So was, I was telling Josh before we started recording that this pipe was about almost 25 feet down. And the water just eroded pretty much 25 feet of earth when it was coming through. That's 25 feet of earth. That's crazy. Um, When you think about like how hard it is, even like a foot or two of dirt when it's dry, when it's compacted or whatever, how hard that shit is. But 25 feet of it is wild. Because you know there's rocks and debris. There's all kinds of shit in there. So um, just a reminder that water ain't losing. Yo, your nature nah. is never losing, but um, <laughs> like to see what they've been able to do to kind of get that thing fortified again and put an elbow on it and drive it even deeper, and then yeah. in the in a matter they they were showing the update. I think they give an update like every few days, uh, and just to see what they've been able to do so they can get water going for people is uh is wonderful, man. Now, mind you, last thing, even when you get water. It's probably going to be like a week or so before you can actually use it before right. it's actually usable again. So some people quite a bit of ways from me have gotten water back, but they got to wait a little bit for it to be safe for everything outside of just flushing. But slowly but surely it's coming back. Some people are saying I'm hearing rumblings about November. Uh, most people will have water, but that's really hard to uh, give a concrete answer on that, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> But everybody's well, coming together, yo. I mean, I've yeah. I've had that opportunity to take my guys who I work with at the group home to help mm-hmm. volunteer as well. So they can kind of get out in the world and like not just see. Because right now, a lot of time what they're seeing is, well, I'm restricted to my home because I can't mm-hmm. go to work. They have support system wherever they go. We can't work. We can't do this. So to help them better under process why, what, what. You know, to them, it just seems like all of a sudden we can't leave the house now Mm -hmm. or we or we can't get these things that we've always had in our routines. So it's I was I was able to get them out volunteering to also see a different side of um, what happens in a store that maybe they didn't see. So and the the team at Lowe's, I'm going to start with the shout outs, but the team at Lowe's was kind (laughs) and respectful to me and my guys and understanding of their situation, their level of processing. To, to give to hand out food and water uh to people in bathroom situation, all kinds of stuff. So shout out to seeing people on the ground. I wish this was highlighted. Cause we're seeing on you know on social media, the devastation is real, hundred percent war zone. Some areas are fucking war zone, neighborhood is gone, that's for sure. But th- I wish they're also showing people coming together that I'm seeing in real time. Um, well, that that's why we exist, and hopefully, you know, words like this can get spread out. That it's not always just about like what's going wrong or the devastation of the situation, but that silver lining of the communities coming together to support each other, provide aid, things of that nature. And so, yeah. um, again, ecstatic that you're safe. Peace and blessings upon any any of your peoples and the families of those who did tragically lose people or a property, everything that that's going to, everything that's going to be necessary for the recovery of those communities and environments and highways and just, you know, living peacefully mm-hmm. and healthily. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Made, sure. made that, made that come back with, uh, with quickness. And so, uh, I do was, oh yeah, one more thing really quick, actually kind of funny on this thing. Like, now that I know so many more people in my building, <laughs> I'm going to have to like say hi to these motherfuckers in the elevator. I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to acknowledge them from now on. I can't be one of those assholes who also didn't say hi. You know I mean, what I mean? You know, that, you that, see somebody at the mall and you say bye to them five times. You're like, fam, stop following me. You said <laughs> bye already. Come on. Come on, man. I mean, I, 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 I just I hope, a silver I lining of like comed- of, of comedy yeah. there. You know what I mean? But it's like, just I, I, I hope silly things to you. complain about. What about people like, Gonna be wanting to uh, 
borrow some, <laughs> borrow everything. Borrow some sugar and honey and shit. Now, nah, bro, we good now. You fully Three stocked. months from Hang now, they're going to still be at, hey, hey, if I can get some, uh, some egg, let me get a dozen <laughs> eggs, <laughs> <for> egg. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give him that confused face. Class. Like, I'm like, your name is Steve Jacob. What's your name again, bro? <laughs> the world, like, everything, like, everything is back to normal. Back to normal. <laughs> right. Somebody comes over and asks for a dozen eggs. It's, it's, <laughs> that is crazy work. I'm just smiling like, like, oh, I don't got it, bro. I'm just smiling like, oh, I don't know you, bro. I don't, I don't know you, sir. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, let me get some shrimp, bro. Let me get, let me get a bag of shrimp. <laughs> oh man, always good to <laughs> find some humor, man. Oh yeah, bro. Well, uh, speaking of humor, um, we got we got about two or three places we can go. We can go. Uh, robots are coming to kill us all, and Elon Musk is not helping, or. <laughs> Uh, 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 booty, booty, butt cheeks, and the, the great words of Gangs Delicious, I believe. <laughs> Where y'all want to go? Robots, or, robots, or, or cheekage? I mean, you know what? I'm kind of, <clears throat> I'm gonna lean toward cheekage because it just takes me back to years ago when Josh and I have had moments, like we, conversations we gotta, we gotta about. Hurry up and finish that sentence. About cheeks, <laughs> about what a what a big booty. I know, dog, I know. I'm, I remember I'm, I'm, this conversation. At, at this point, I'm like infamous for that type of shit. But I remember one time, even my brother Chris being there, and he's like, "Yo, Josh is right. You don't know what a big butt is. Josh is right. That's not just accept it." He's in he's in the back seat of the car talking shit. I'm like, "Damn, you want to wake up for this kind of shit? Are you asleep for for the whole other hour ride? But now you want to wake up? Okay, you want to chime in now? Okay." <laughs> this is hilarious. So this that, was like years in the like, making. Uh, right. Yeah. Like, we went years without me actually saying nothing. You just being like, man, she got a great ass. And I'm like, <laughs> like what are you talking about? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Josh like pulling yo, Josh is pulling over on the highway and shit like, yo. Is it lost? Where is it at? Like, really? Motherfuckers, <laughs> motherfuckers is pulling up, but Naka is like, yo, where is it? Just pulling over on the high 8094, like, no, nah, dog, I don't see it. So, so, uh, the, the prompt was, <laughs> is, um, ass shape is better than ass size. Is that what it was? Let me make sure I'm, I'm reading that right. Dang it, I knocked my camera out. Sorry, Adam. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and oh, shout more out to important. the Adam who couldn't be on right now. Yeah, um, on the other side now. Big shout out to Adam. Uh, shout yes, out to ass Adam. shape is more important than ass size. True, it's false feelings. It's a we fact. Got, we got a fact. I, yeah. I completely agree with the statement. <laughs> Especially yeah. in the era of the BBL, like by all mm -hmm. means, the ass that you want to have should be the ass that you have. However, you want to get it, whether that be surgery or hard work, or just living life with with biscuits and ice cream, whatever the ass that you want, <laughs> I hope that's the ass that you have. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> but shape oversize all day <laughs> for sure. Okay, so are we saying it could be a nice little petite thing? Absolutely, because. The the shape help it bounce more, or is it the size that helps it bounce more? It is. It's really kind of a volume Mixed bag, and it, it's volume <laughs> and texture. Uh. <laughs> this motherfucker bringing baking a baking <laughs> ingredient sheet up in it right now <laughs> with times texture divided by <laughs> <laughs> only because because the volume. thing of like. Um, uh, it, it's a thing of like uh, you could have mass size, but like let's say you're like hardcore about squats and working out and all that kind of stuff that offers a a a, a, a firm texture. It's not going to necessarily have that much quote unquote bounce to it. It may have a little bit, or you got um. Yeah, I don't want that not, too hard of a bounce. That's a hard bounce. That's not like I, a I genuine. I want like a. You know, yeah, that's I want like a when you put one of them little um blow up plastic balls underwater and it just shoots up by itself. Like it does the work for you. You know what I mean? That like work yo, that yo, that workout booty, that workout booty is too hard of a bounce for me, man. I gotta tell you, I'm not against workout booty. Uh yeah, I'm just no not, shame, no uh, shame. I, I'm, I'm not I'm not against it. 
I'll clap them. I'll clap. I'll clap yeah, a workout yeah. booty for sure. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm assuming this is preference wise. We're talking preference here. I'm guessing. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, it, it got to be a balance. It's like it's kind of like how the bed when you buy a bed. It's like a whole spectrum of. It is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's I, true. And, and and truth be told, in the same, I'll give you that. Like I like my asses. <laughs> like I like my beds on the firmer side. Mm. Because I I can't What's do that? soft I can't do I can't do mad it's like soft a sleep beds. number like <laughs> like <laughs> what's your cheek uh, number what's your uh, cheek like, number I, what number I hate I hate I hate foam mattresses cheek number cheek number what's your cheek number yes for sure for sure <laughs> <laughs> oh shit uh, because I uh, I I can't do soft ass beds because. Like my like the way I need back support in the same way that like I, I really really soft booties. That's when it started looking like you know, uh, like egg hanging off a shell under a yeah, sheet. You need a little resistance. A like little, I need I need a little, I need a little that's, back. Exactly. That's a very good point because it starts yeah it starts losing its own shape. You need the shape to maintain after the ver- the reverberation is the yeah. Yes. I got you. I got you. We like have full I, on agreements, when, but you can I, have that I even. Be, the, you can have yeah, a petite right. booty and still have that, right? Absolutely. As as, okay, got you. When I when I throw the rock in the when I throw the rock in the lake, I want waves, but I want to know <laughs> it's gonna return to to tranquil. Yes, sir. <laughs> Equanimity, <laughs> for sure, we'll be there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I. Me personally, I if we if we going on like scale of one to ten, complete like like a uh was it uh, a bag of rice versus uh, <laughs> <laughs> versus um uh what what's something like extra hard um mm. fried bologna uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah I. I I gotta go. I'm um, somewhere on like a five, six, mm. maybe even a seven. Mm. <laughs> like seven max. I'm gonna think I'm I, going. I, I want to I wanna know when I when I squeeze. It's still I still got a little bit of puff pastry that's gonna poke between my fingers. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like have to agree. I thought you were gonna go higher. Nah, oh. nah. Eight, nine. Now we then we start getting to them hard booties. That's you know? that, that, that's a, that's that's <laughs> that's the that's the punch in the bag <laughs> for real, you know, for real. <laughs> yeah, that's the Hulk booties for sure. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're in a full on agreement on this one. Okay, but now help me out here. Now both of you guys can help me out with this. In the past, what were the mm-hmm. main grievances? I know Josh is Josh with has your, most of them. Your, your assessment with my of... assessment in the past. This is, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is like year middle school, high school. You know what I mean? It's probably started then. I remember this. Because oh. here's my thing, because I always felt like it was, I feel like it was the shape. Maybe I was using the word big wrong. Cause I was saying that it was big and it wasn't when I was really just appreciating the shape. I think I just my terminology was off. I, okay. Uh, or, or or like big for her body. You know what I mean. So 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 let's throw a couple uh, disclaimers disclaimers out here before. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's true. Uh, one. Uh, uh, and ain't no shame coming into nothing. Yada yada yada. Uh, two. We are talking about assessments of pubescent minds. Before we start talking about pubescent bodies, so we're like this. Hey, they out here, you know, talking about teenage bodies. Yeah, we we're also talking about where we were at the time. So yes, before, we were in middle school, high I, working our way to high I, school, and through obviously yeah. for you know you extra dumb motherfuckers. Um, just in case you know, years from now when we get when when this shit blows up, they're like, hey, wasn't this you? Like, hey, nigga, yeah. sh- shut up. As soon as um, we sign our, as soon as we sign our big contract, then motherfuckers right. want to bring up some shit. Yeah, no, yeah. We, we on, we on, on Black Effect. Charlemagne's paying us millions of dollars on top of that, and so yeah. Um, my grievance was whenever, in most of the asses that you were talking about, were they proportionate to the bodies that they were on? Sure, and also relatively. 
Mm. Were mm. they voluptuous in general? Absolutely not. I, I can agree with that. Because <laughs> The most of the time, when you're talking about ass, you're talking about like if I if I had to like make an equivalency of like a a, a visual, you talk uh most of the time, especially in those days, you're talking about somebody built like a lowercase b. Mm. I mean, as long as we're talking about you know, you know, some bee stings up top, but the bottom is shaped enough that it can still swallow up a G-string down low, then I'm all right with that. But here's the, here's the thing. <laughs> Say, saying it can swallow up a G-string is not really saying much uh, in, in regards to where we where we are, where we're from, and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Because we're also talking about, like, cultural build and phenotype and all that kind of shit. Mm-hmm. Because uh, 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 women built in Valparaiso are not going to be built the same way as they are in Gary. This is for sure. This is for and, sure. And so we're talking about like uh niggas with small teeth can still catch floss, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. The bump on a lot of the women that you were saying had big asses. We're like, oh, can this feel my hand? Yes. Can this <laughs> can this overwhelm my grip? No. And yeah. that is that is usually like the 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 equivalent of what we're so saying. Basically like, oh, is that's existent. That's it's, it's there, it, it's there, but it's not there. Yeah, that's true. It can feel my hand, but we're not getting a handshake out of it. I feel that we ain't getting no real handshakes like, out of it. I like, got you. like, like <laughs> you can grip it because it's it's there enough to grip. It ain't gonna do that thing where yeah. like you try to grip it and like all of a sudden you got the one hand clap going on. Yeah, because like yeah, they're so their asses were simply there because anatomically we all need one. There's no, <laughs> it's, it's no ripples. It's no. It's There's, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> And the thing is, and, and, and we say anatomically we all need one, but there's a lot of people out here that just got a booty hole in the middle of their back. Like there's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> like that that build exists. That is true. But, but yeah, nah. Like if like if you if you if the end of your ass is still like if I could draw a straight line from your shoulder blade to the like the edge of your booty cheek, that's not ass. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I was just horny, y'all. I was just horny. No, no, no. It's just important that we get this out and in a formal <laughs> way, and that I'm also like straight up. It was, it was, it was a long time coming for me to admit this, yo. It was long time <laughs> coming for me to just come out and it, admit, like, it, it your boy was using decade. the word big. Yeah, your boy was using the word big wrong for sure. It was <laughs> shapely. They were shaking. You just didn't you know have I mean? your tear system like set in place yet, you know. <laughs> yeah. like, you hey, I wasn't involved. I wasn't there, fellas. You had to give me some time. To, you know what I mean? We all we Y'all all gotta have our point of growth. <laughs> For sure. I was appreciating shape too much, and I didn't have that six seven balance. You know what I mean? I was more like two three. Heavy on the shape, son. <laughs> Heavy on the shape, but low on <laughs> You know what I mean? And low on the existence. You know, <laughs> and sometimes you know you just you, you need the life experience to be able to you know just come to these conclusions for yourself this might yeah some people might have been telling you the whole time like for, <laughs> yeah like i uh um yeah yeah i was you gonna say what? something that, that would have got me in, that would have <laughs> set me up for failure i'm not gonna do that <laughs> i'm just i'm just happy that um there's no one else that I want to like there's there's no other podcast I, I like to be on hashing these things out. You know what I mean? <laughs> having this having this therapeutic moment with the fellas. You know what I mean? You know? Got Made to. me think about uh I don't know if y'all seen that video, uh, because I just happened to come across it. I don't like his content at all, but uh did y'all see this video of academics listening to his friend tell him that Drake been using him the whole time? And like I, know, the, I haven't seen it come him coming to the realization like a real time where he's just like 
<laughs> like, damn, I did not see that. No, I'm gonna well, see if I can find that. I'm gonna share it. We can put it in the show notes. But he was <laughs> going hard for him, though. Especially, uh, during especially the whole, during the Kendrick Lamar um, yeah. battle when mm-hmm. when everything was dropping and um when he when Kendrick Lamar dropped uh what is it Meet the Parents? I'll meet the Grams. <laughs> meet yeah. the Grams. I mean, <laughs> yeah. He just like ended ended his stream. <laughs> Like he couldn't handle it. <laughs> it was funny. Like as he was listening to right. it, like because it was hitting so hard. You know that song kind of, kind of hey, hits you know hard. Who, you know who else was going so hard with um for him? Um, Maul. You know Rory and Maul got oh, their own yeah. podcast. Oh, yeah. Man, like, people got their allegiances, and I guess when you get famous, you can't really tell the truth about some stuff. But yeah. yeah, he was really going. He was really um, he really didn't like that whole allegation on the um, you know, minor the minor situation. Oh yeah, the A minor. I mean, <clears throat> I mean it's it, it it it's a it's a hell of an allegation uh, allegation to make when yeah. there's no uh, there isn't really any like uh substantiating evidence of it. Yeah, uh, I guess on, on, that's true. I guess I would be a little testy if. If one of my, if one of, you know, I hate to say, use this y'all an example, but one of my friends, you know what I mean? Got, mm. got, um, got some allegations about some shit like that. And I was like, that is no fucking way. That is not true. I guess I'd be a little testy too. One of the yeah. homies got, got blamed I mean, for some shit like that. Yeah. Anything I'm saying, there's no <laughs> substantiating evidence. I think the only thing I had even heard that was a little like, Ugh, was, um, uh, them saying that he was having like ample, Whatever converse, uh, text conversations with uh, uh what's home Chick girl from Stranger um, Things, Stranger Things, yeah, yeah, like well before uh, when she was like fifteen up till today. Yeah, I, I think it was a thing where he was going to dinner with some. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it was like we don't know nothing and all. Yeah, that stuff, but I don't. I yeah. don't know enough to be. You know, I just yeah. heard I just heard that place had the best mac and cheese in town and they just happened to be there. That's all. <laughs> There's a, a mac and cheese. <laughs> Tater tots and hey, here's the thing though. Corn dogs. Do we go to certain places because they have the best if they have the best sides you've ever had, but not entrees? I'll go out of my motherfucking oh. way. And I'm different because I'm a vegetarian though, because that, that might be all I get at a place. Yeah, you know what I, I mean. Mean, I think that also that that's a common experience for vegetarians and whatnot. Yeah. Um I don't know if I necessarily. I'm I'm sure I have. Hmm. Uh, I, yeah, I'm sure I have because like there's a place called Cafe Cito, um, mm-hmm. uh, that's like a, a Cuban sandwich place. Um, but they got this great fucking uh buttered bread, so I mm. literally just be going there to get that. Hmm. See, I think- I'm like that. For the most part, it is the entree, though. But you know, when you yeah. go on somewhere, it's like you go in there for the the thing thing. Oh, that is yeah. true. Because like I used to go to this place a lot. I think I mentioned it. This diner, y'all know how I fuck with some diners. But I would go mm-hmm. there and only get the apple pie. But I guess that technically is a dessert entree. Kinda. I mean, you know, I don't know. I I think those two things, those two words, kind of cancel each other out. Mm-hmm. Just because entree just means like where it comes in the meal. Yeah. But not in the informal sense. <laughs> in the in the in the informal realm. <laughs> <You know? laughs> um, but yeah, I mean like you're going somewhere to get a slice of pie. And yeah, that makes sense. It's like the same I think that you could do that for like any kind of sweet, whether that be a mm. slice of cake, a cookie. Like this whole restaurant's built on uh cookies. Oh That's true. Uh, th- this would be this would be the last thing we could talk about. Um did y'all see that shit uh, about um, the Australian people would crumble? No, but mm-hmm. that's so funny that you say that because a friend of mine just texted me a picture of her with some crumble on her, like a box of crumble on her lap, like mm-hmm. heading home. Is it, I'm pretty sure crumble's like cupcakes and shit, right? It's cookies, yeah. It's, it's, oh, it's, it's cookies, it's, okay. It's Damn. cookies, but they, they're, uh, I've heard a hilarious take on it. I Forgive me for not remembering Were the Were they on Shark Tank? 
Maybe I'll, okay. I, I, I'll I'm trying to figure out. I've, I've heard it before. I've heard of that before. I'm trying to think Me of too. where. But it's, I'm it's not really like up a, to it. A viral cookie sensation, uh, because they make these big ass cookies and they change the uh, they change up some of their like special flavors every week and all of that other kind of stuff. Anyways, um, it's become such a trendy place at this point that uh, some people flew to somewhere, things like Florida, or something. Uh, from Australia, bought like a thousand dollars worth of cookies from a, uh, from a crumble there. Mm. Then for like twelve dollars a cookie, and then a bunch of like TikTok people got on TikTok and Instagram talking about like, oh my god, this is fucking horrible and all of that because they didn't do anything to like make sure they would stay fresh. And they they uh, they were selling they were selling them under the crumble uh mo- uh moniker, and then people were like report uh uh reporting to crumble being like this is horrible or whatnot. Crumble's like we don't exist in Australia. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. And so they went back to the people. The people were like, no, we're just people who love crumble. So we wanted to, you know, like share crumble with our people back in Sydney. Stop it, y'all trying to make money. Yeah, come on, fam. <laughs> well, crumble wants to share Stop this lying. lovely. Yeah, Crumble, while y'all busy sharing, Crumble wants to share this whole lawsuit with you real quick. Lawsuit with you. Come, come, come slide through real quick. <laughs> come slide that, through. That reminds me of like when they had people selling uh, Krispy Kreme donuts at school yeah. and they would just be having them forever. <laughs> be all old and crusty, man. Get that these so old true. ass donuts out of here. Cause you're like, <laughs> there's no Krispy Kreme over here. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's so true. <laughs> and then you oh go to, a, then you go to a Krispy Kreme and get them fresh and be like, this is a whole different experience. <laughs> like, this, this is on another level right here. <laughs> yeah, you see that hot and ready sign on, son. It's time to oh, turn around real. and join that, bro. I was biking. It's something else. Busy, I was biking on a busy ass road in Atlanta one time, and I saw that hot and fresh and turned my ass around <laughs> so quick. I hit that Yui so quick, son. I almost fell off the bike. And I said, how the fuck? I got a 30-minute bike ride from here to home, and I'm going to make it work somehow. No now, basket. I remember <laughs> we didn't really have them here. And um, we when I would go to Indianapolis, I would get them. Yeah, it was and the longest time before they showed out, up. Like, like, yeah. Uh, Crown Point and the Sheerville or something like that. That was the first mm-hmm. time I was like, one on Indianapolis that closed or something, and mm-hmm. then whatever, whatever. Yo, right, shout out to... uh. What's the name of this? Is a is a uh, piece of place called Roberts, okay, mm-hmm. in in uh, Chicago, mm-hmm. that just got on the f- top fifty uh, piece of places in the world. Oh, it's in like, the it's like world! A, in the world, it's like a mm-hmm. list, uh, a bunch of like Italy and like a, a bunch of exotic <laughs> destinations. But you know how, yeah, it's going to be Italy a lot on there. Of but this course. place called Roberts Piece of Dough. Yeah, pizza and dough. Cracked the list. Yeah. Damn. They cracked the so that's top a, 50 list. Is that safe to say that's um I honestly would would I would have wondered if there was some other Chicago joints on there. No, nah, like, like, yeah, that's why I was surprised because I had when I heard that I checked the list, I'm like, dang, they this is the only one. Like they kind of yeah. sleep on <laughs> Chicago pizza, but yeah. Damn, oh, well, top at top yeah. fifty in the world is insane. That's a hell of a, an achievement, they, yeah. See if they got some alternatives for me in my non tomato life. Yeah, that's but wild, uh, brother. Hey, you know what though? It's cool. In a couple years, we're gonna be addressing your non tomato uh, situation. My ass, my my um, lack of vision <laughs> in the <laughs> ass department. You know what I mean? Got addressed and. It was very important. It was years coming. I'm gonna give you like five more years, and then we can address this non tomato situation, Josh. It's, with the pizza, a, man. What's going on? Pretty, I, I have a reflux. What you... I know, man. Well, we need to we need to do something about that. I'm clear about the reason. No, we need to deflux. Yo, deflux that shit. We need to deflux. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to start appreciating real pizzas, man. We're talking real that's pizzas, a, man. That's just because I can't again. eat tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm love y'all. pizza. I, I, I'm, if saying, I, if I'm I saying it as a friend, bro. Can, <laughs> but if I come to a place where I can't eat pizza adjacent food, then uh, I I will be very sad. That's my favorite food. 
I love no, you pizza got the margarita too, man. joints though, right? You can eat the margarita joints, right? Is that the white? The, uh, straight olive oil and white? Uh, I yeah. don't think it's margarita. The mozzarella, um, mozzarella it's, cheese. It's like straight white, on. It's like a white uh, joint that yeah. has like a. a that was called. <clears throat> yeah, that's it. Is it's called it's margarita. margarita. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe it's got like it's got basil and. Uh, it's got um mozzarella <laughs> like real mozzarella cheese. Yeah, uh, and, and you could I guess you could just take the tomatoes off. Yeah, I don't I don't know why I thought margarita still point. has tomatoes to some degree. It, it I don't does. think it's a tomato sauce. Yeah, but it has. I just thought of that. Yeah. Well, shit. Uh, uh, pizza is like one of the worst things for you though. But oh yeah, it's it's, it's, it's amazing <laughs> for sure. <laughs> for sure, it is. <laughs> High in inflammation, like <laughs> and, and yeah, low, like, in, yeah. low in anything nutritious, but high in oh, inflammation. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be, you can't be like consciously eating pizza, like with health in mind. You just gotta kind of put, <laughs> yeah, <that, laughs> put that to the on the back burner for a minute <laughs> yeah. as, you, as you partake. It's a treat. I'm like, I'm uh, like. It, it, no one being like, oh yeah, I'm on this big health kick, so I got to get my weekly pizza in. That's never gonna happen. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, I take that back, man. I'm gonna give. A, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring it up in about five or six more years. I'm gonna give. You know what I mean? I, I take that tomato shit back, Josh. Keep reflexing. I mean, it's man. okay. It's okay. I, I take I, back I, the deflux. I'm. You know what I'm I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to somebody's garden and, and spray a bunch of tomato plants with glyphosate for you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Tomatoes need to exist because I love barbecue sauce. But that's the only way I can. Mm. Do it. Ah, that is a very good point. Man, that's a very good mm-mm. point. I know, I know. But me and Marcus disagree on this all the time. <laughs> I didn't know though. Let's let's address this really quick because I genuinely don't think I I can't as believe a, I'm. As much as I love like different type of pizzas and different trying different stuff. Oh, barbecue, barbecue pizza! On the pe- like, oh, okay. Uh, I'm I'm all for the Hawaiian. I love it. I, you know, me too. Every, love I a good try Hawaiian. Out new stuff all the time, but. That's just one that I can't get with, man. That, like, that was one of the first deviations in our friendship. Uh, <laughs> and, and y'all, hold on, really, is, is it safe to say y'all both first tried this at like CC's? Because that's the only one that would be having nah, the um, wild ass pizzas. I had, I, it, I had it forever, uh, forever ago. But one of the days, me and Marcus was at Flamingos, and uh, I, had ordered, I had ordered that, and Marcus was like, and I'll, I'll admit that <laughs> wasn't a great example of a barbecue pizza, just because I think they. <laughs> They were using like some watered down, uh, 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 what's it called? Open pit in the back. Yeah, and you know what? Like, Chris no, wasn't this- Chris wasn't working that day. Everybody else was on that skimpy <laughs> shit. But, Amigos uh, held it down for us, but, but go ahead for a long time. <laughs> and and so I I don't think I don't think Flamingos has a great barbecue pizza. Is my point. Um, but I know me and me and Marcus differ on on this subject pretty often. And think about know- it. I yeah, go ahead. I got a I got a specific barbecue stand, so I just think it goes on on barbecue, like on barbecue. <laughs> I don't know. I can't I can't think of anything else that I I used to put it on I chicken barbecue too. With. Well, yeah. Well, that's you know? I mean. I I, I do guess that with, could be I, close enough. Yeah, to barbecue. Because I put yeah. it on sandwiches. I, uh, I put that I, shit on yeah, turkey. I can't. Dip, it, dip fries in it often. I like, put that shit know. on sandwiches too. I still put it on like on veggie meat sandwiches. Nah. Veggie meat sandwiches. Huh? I mean, uh, when I say sandwiches, I mean like if I'm if I'm out like at Chick Fil A or something like that, I'm getting barbecue sauce or like. See, you know, I'm a, I, I'm a honey mustard, uh, maybe mm-hmm. a sweet and sour, both honey mustard. You know, something, something I'm like that. I'm a Chick Fil A sauce. That's just like yeah. that. I'm the That's I'm all, the Chick Fil A sauce all, every time. Chick Fil A sauce is is barbecue and honey mustard mixed. Oh, I didn't know that. I'd be one hundred you know with what? you. I didn't know that. The best, the best sauce. That's out there in the world. In the world. <laughs> in the world. It, it, made, it, it made the top 50 list. The top 50 list in the world. <laughs> top top three sauces slash flavors is Chipotle. Oh, yeah. Hands down. Okay. We we without, agree on that. Because I, I, I got top a little array, in the world? A array of uh, a Chipotle sauces that I that I couldn't just put on anything. Anything and is and it and, and it uh, elevates. R I P to uh the Chicago used to have this place called Leona's. Most of them closed, uh, but they have a they have a Chipotle pizza that I live and breathe by. See, I could get with that. I could get with that. I I would try it for sure. 
Uh, but sometimes people's chipotle sauces take over the meal to me. If it's like too much on it, it's such a strong and intense. And that's why I like it because it's so intense, mm-hmm. but not when it necessarily so- it be, takes over be. the entire sandwich or sub or whatever. Because usually I'll have it on like a, I get that shit on subs every time. Yeah, it's, it's a game changer. Situation. Game changer, yeah, for sure. But it's like it's like my spicy shit. I enjoy some spice. Not like Josh, ladies and gentlemen. Let's be very clear. I was, I was gonna say, <laughs> not, man. Not, 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 you like, not to the degree two. of Josh. <laughs> this motherfucker wondering why he got the reflux. We know what the reflux is really from. Yeah. It's the crazy spice, well, here's, Josh. Come on. Here's thing. Come on. Now, don't be blaming food. tomatoes for that shit. Well, here's the thing. Spicy food don't bother <laughs> Spicy food don't bother me, though. That's incredible. I, mean, dude. I enjoy I, some, I some pretty spicy stuff. <laughs> But but that but, time Josh <laughs> made, that, <laughs> made that habanero uh, the habanero the it was habanero, the kale it was the kale or, oh, yeah the, with the uh, with the spicy I'm kale like, joint this. too already I was like bro this dude had to pick the hottest habaneros <laughs> my motherfucking dude my motherfucking ears popped up like I had cauliflower ears from jujitsu or something I'm like yo everything <laughs> are you everything talking is- to somebody who grew ghost peppers like I grew ghost peppers at at the crib. That's but what I'm saying. These habanero y'all. peppers, he must have put I'm like a good. whole. You got to say a disclaimer did, whenever you say you like spicy on this there, podcast. Man. It's got to be a disclaimer. I do uh, remember <laughs> that because uh, that was back when I lived um, uh, close to the downtown. But yeah. I didn't. I didn't DC them as the issue with that happened with that. Oh, I oh, put okay. I put the whole thing, in. bro. It was <laughs> so. Uh, I'm, I, I'm I, just I, like. So and then yeah. it reminded me that like. I like spicy stuff. I, I don't even think I'm on the same level of spice as y'all are. I don't think I'm there yet. Give me some time to sing with the <laughs> ass joints. You know what I mean? Give me time. <laughs> but spice is good. Hot is good. But when it's hot for no reason, what I what I mean is when it's there's a spicy in the hot that is still flavorful and you can enjoy Absolutely. the meal. Yeah. When it's hot and yeah. spicy and it takes away from the meal. As your as your tolerance goes up. You can you can taste the different like the different because at different some point it's here. like the ghost pepper doesn't taste any different from the habanero and the habanero from the jalapeno all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But as your tolerance gets, you can tolerate more. You get to taste the different like flavors of it actually. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, I so remember. I'm just, I'm just on I, the lower tier, y'all. I'm just on a smaller tier. I'm on the lower <laughs> it, tier. It literally, it literally <laughs> is that thing of like. Because um, I don't think jalapenos are hot when they go in things. I still can't. I'm, I'm not going to bite a jalapeno because that would be too spicy. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I, I'll i use jalapenos for flavoring if I'm cooking it in food. Mm-hmm. But I would never be like, oh, yeah, let me just have some raw jalapeno crunch, crunch, crunch. Uh, but, yeah, That's, uh, so... Yeah. I feel that. So I agree with that. I don't. I don't even cook like like that kind of spice anymore. Like what I was doing back in those days. Because I remember, I remember you were making it, and you was like, "Man, I hope you don't mind" or something like that. I I forgot to take the seeds out. I'm like, man, whatever, man. Is yeah, it is what it all, is. I'm not. I'm we was not all drinking too, that. though. We was all drinking too. So <laughs> right. My dumb ass was like, "Man, let's go. I'm, I'm a try champ. It. Let's <laughs> go. I try. Let's go, about, son. Like, whatever." <laughs> Like, why and he you got even the spicy... have to mention that, bro? Like, <laughs> and he got right. the spicy kale too, right next to it. He got the spicy, crunchy kale next to it. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. hilarious! I forgot about that. And that then was we had kicked it. in, bro. Yeah, huh? and then we had some habanero drink too. It was, that was no, a spicy ass time. day. Okay. Yeah, that was another time. Okay, that, that was when we first started the podcast, and I had the uh, habanero right, mango right. cider. Beer, right. Right. That's true. Good, good times, yo. Hey, last yeah. thing. Speaking of all these sauces and shit, that was one of the things that hit me the worst when I had to like empty the fridge and like buy all new condiments and everything again. Mm. I'm like, damn, that shit yeah, just man. happened like two days ago. I was like, no, <laughs> yeah, that's messed yeah. up. You know yeah. what I mean? So when I moved, a, I had the little things. Took a little while to get my get my condiments up, man. You gotta have the right. You gotta have the right sauces, you know. That whole Dude. side door, that whole side. Yeah, door I fun. swear, bro. That shit <laughs> needs to be. Yeah, that side door needs to be heavy. It needs to, to have my, my, my. Had to get my chili or chili paste and my. Absolutely. All the <laughs> different yes, three types of mustards and my my last thing is a uh, um um. 
I finally found a Asian grocery store. Mm. Um, I'm hopefully I'm, hopefully I can find one that's closer because this one was in the burbs near where I was doing my PT. Um, and man, getting like uh uh Aaron, I don't know if you uh eat mushrooms like that, but uh here I and there, be, uh I was able to get uh the the pack of king uh king oysters like three big old motherfuckers for like four dollars mm-hmm. mm-hmm. uh and you you know you cook them like scallops pretty much um mm-hmm. uh but i got like a big ass jar of sushi ginger that was like five dollars man i'm i'll be shopping mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I know what you mean my, my door my door is stacked <laughs> my, se- my sesame seed oil mm-hmm. you know what i mean mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the miso joint. Let's just go with the miso. Come on, man. <laughs> Ab- Come on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Come on, man. But yo, let's wrap this up. Uh, uh, and speaking of Asian shit, uh, I-, I don't know if y'all like cooking competition <laughs> shows. And this is the last thing I say. But uh, uh, if y'all ever watch any of those shows, like a uh, Physical One Hundred or Devil's Plan, Korea got the greatest reality game shows or competition shows. And so they mm-hmm. got a show called Culinary Class Wars. Fantastic watch. Hmm. Fantastic watch uh, we'll that, I'll, that I'll suggest on Netflix. But yeah, uh, we love y'all. We appreciate you. Informally honest on everywhere. Informally uh, underscore HP on Twitter or X, uh, if you need to call it that, which I never will. It's like I never say <laughs> uh, the Willis Tower. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> still still sounds there. weird for sure. Uh, um, but yeah, uh, fellas, any last thing before we get out here? I got one thing, man. Shout out Roberts, top fifty mm-hmm. for, for, for making the list. Check them out. An honorable Sh- mention to uh, what's that place? I'm drawing a blank. It's a empanada place. That's fire. It's called. Mm. Mm. Sh- I don't gonna know. Be, it's gonna be. It's gonna be a long outro. Next time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for bringing it up. <laughs> It's going to be one of them Lupe Fiasco outros. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued, you have a reason to t- tune in. Right. Yeah. yeah, this is another good one, man. Wonderful Absolutely. to see you. No, it's called Absolutely. Chilango. It's fire, man. Got to check that out. Shout out. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. Right. Uh, Who suggestions? So uh, if you're listening to this while you on the road, then whatever car you drive in, uh, mm. for all the pussies out there, whatever carpet you munch, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and if you are if you're listening to this between uh, while you're in school, then whatever class you take, uh, mm. we encourage, empower, and implore you to always keep it forthright, vulnerable, and most of all, get the goddamn honest. We love you. Uh, it's the Informally Honest Podcast. Love Peace. you. They're Peace eating world. dogs. And They're thanks for listening. <laughs>